We're back outside after a bunch of rain and well decided to vlog so if you guys didn't know I recently just this past weekend went to the American Muscle Car Show and if you're new to the channel well a few months back the front bumper on my car which is actually a rare bumper the 99 to the 01 Cobra front bumper they don't make it anymore well a deer had hit it luckily it cracked the paint that's it so we rushed this past weekend or this whole past week to get this bumper done and painted no i didn't go buy cheap paint i probably spent around 200 dollars in supplies and had the bumper repainted and i think it turned out really good it's still curing so here's a little close-up of it So the kind of thing with painting that you have to worry about is, you know, you're, it's matching up the paint. You can go to like any reputable, you know, paint shop or whatever and get your color code and they'll mix it right there or, you know, they'll, they'll mix the paint and stuff like that. Depending on the companies, the more money you spend, probably the better closer you're going to get with that product. Well, it's kind of hard when, you know, well, a lot of the car has been repainted, so it is a little shade brighter. I'm not worried about it, but it turned out really damn good in my opinion. And it's just a little shade brighter than the hood and the rest of the car, but it's really hard to match up paint when you're doing body parts and not the car, the whole car at the same time. But today we're not going to talk about that. So I went to the American Muscle Show. It was really fun. I'll put a link in the description below of that video, last upload, and hope you guys check it out and enjoy that. Well, today we're going to talk about something I see a lot of on YouTube, you know, your first, you know, top five mods, your first few exterior mods or power mods, what, your, what it should be for your 9904 Mustang or Miata or whatever, whatever car should be. Well, I wanted to, I thought about it and I wanted to do something a little different. So my idea, um, my mod that you think, I think you should get that will make any swap easier or make any part install easier on the 99 to 04 Mustang or any Mustang, any car particular, is a tubular K member setup. What is a tubular K member setup? Well, your car comes factory. Well, I'm just going to use my car for example. So, 99 to 04, these cars come factory with a beefy ass K member and beefy ass front control arms. And when I did the swap, I put both together and it probably weighed about 100 pounds all together. Well, if you want to put your car on a diet, and just save some weight you know the old because race car weight reduction if you want to do something like that then a k-member setup is the way to go why buy the k-member and everything else well some people you can just buy the k-member and some people use the stock control arms which i think is a waste in my mind you should just do everything coil over set up and you know save as much weight as possible you can a lot of you know that i have a team zk member with a few upr parts and maximum motorsports now all three companies are reputable companies I just named that make good kits. So what did the Team Z K member do for my car? Well, did quite a few things. Now it's not going to add power or anything, but maybe the stickers that they send you might show up fancy on your car somewhere. I don't know, wherever your heart desires. So it made the swap a lot easier. It made the motor go in that much easier because with the K member, the oil pan's just all over the place, hitting it and getting stuck well well tube headers as well a lot of you two valve and you know four valve guys with these cars know installing long tube headers with a stock k member is a bitch it takes you know a lot of time you know six to twelve hours from what i've read on forums i never had long tube headers went on my two valve but you know the idea and the horror stories it takes a long time is it worth it yes but with a tubular k member you can do it now these kits range from five hundred to a thousand dollars. My kit was, you know, seven, eight hundred bucks all together for everything, and that includes, you know, the offset rack bushings, bump steer kit, the K member itself, and the control arms, and everything you need, the coilovers and everything. So the coilovers allow you to raise and lower the car what you like, you know, where you want it to sit with a spanner wrench. Spanner wrench usually comes with it. If they don't, they're usually like twenty bucks. And it's not that hard to install. And the K member just lightens up the car a lot. Would it look good under the hood if you could see it? Yes. Um, usually you go with the chromoly because that is the best. It saves more weight and chromoly costs a little more, but it's usually worth it in the end. But I don't think every company does chromoly, but they have the chromoly option. So with that instead, you you know install the K member 
bolt the motor to it and everything and then you do the a-arms and then you do the coilovers usually the coilovers you know they have a company a few brand companies that the coilovers will go with far as struts what they work with um, I went with a strange steam Z uses strange hyper coils as well so both companies strut and coil work very well together and the offset rack bushings it kind of just helps the steering angle set right the right height with the bump steer kit now I have a UPR bump steer kit there's nothing wrong with them it's easy to go to and it just kind of angles out where unwanted steering isn't there anymore so the steering will so you're controlling the car not the road so if the car hits a bump in the road it's not going to go left to right or anything so you have more control of that and then you take it to a shop and maximum motorsports has the best caster camber plates in my opinion for these cars it has the most adjustment as you can see so that is the idea of having that now the long tube headers are a lot easier to install with a tubular k member and if you're already going to do that with a two valve and you plan on doing a lot more stuff and you're installing long tube headers why not just buy a tubular k member setup while you're at it because a lot of people just drop the k member and you could do that put the headers on and then you could bolt off the new k member and save some weight you know if you're a race a lot of drag racers and autocross do that as well they do tubular setups now you can always go tubular in the rear like i have the bmr control arms um they even make a thing for the front bumper where you take off the bumper support which i don't recommend if it's a daily driver or anything maybe a track car is a lot better but it will save some weight too right around 30 to 40 pounds i believe but i do not have that Am I gonna get it? Probably not. It's somewhere in the hundred dollar ball mark, ballpark mark price wise, but I don't think it's worth it for me. But that is pretty much the mod that I think you should get because the tubular K member just makes stuff that much easier. You won't be able to see it unless you're working under the car. There's no real reason. For example, the starter with a stock K member was really hard to get to. Now I can just take off the passenger side tire few bolts you know 15 20 minutes done instead of spending two hours fighting with bolts and stuff like that you know having sockets and stuff like that that won't reach so you got to do all this crap just to get this one bolt out and it's just a lot easier now so again you save weight and make stuff a hell of a lot easier no headaches so if you're doing any swap or long tube headers or even a coyote swap or whatever the hell it is that you're doing buy a K member setup you can always go Q&A1 uh, BMR if you have a newer car I know BMR usually involves with the 05 and generation up Mustangs um, I know they do Chevrolet as well I'm pretty sure they do other companies uh, again Team Z and UPR a lot of these you know, guys make their stuff put them on drag cars so they're proven and you can always look at videos and stuff like that on YouTube so do I recommend is this a sponsored video no but what do I recommend are just the brands that I have on my car. So other than that, um, I think that's really just going to do it. The bumper turned out great. Uh, American Muscle Car Show. Like I said, I'll put a link in the description below so you guys can check that video out if you want to. It was really great. I haven't been in a couple years. So it was really worth the drive. Um, the only complication I really had was you relocated the power steering over here. And the hose kind of got kinked up so I had to stop and uh, advance and get a new hose put a new one on but made it to the show had fun and back in Virginia and back to figuring out what to do next to this car so I go I hope you guys enjoy this kind of little informational video and if you have any other suggestions or questions or whatever my uh, social media is in the link the description below as well make sure to share like and sub to this channel if you want more content Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a good one.